Hi everybody and welcome to OP Digital Blueprint with my buddy here Red Redfern uh, and myself. Uh, we're going to have a, a, a short chat today but we're just going to, you know, roll on on what's been said and, and what's been talked about and discussed recently. So Red, over to you my friend. Uh, thanks very much Andy, always good to be here. Uh, I like Tuesdays, uh, they fit in very, very well with uh, what I do, which is fantastic. And obviously spending time with Andy Burks is always uh, a memorable occasion, regardless, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the news we got today about uh, On Passive 360 being no more. Uh, the last one was last week. Uh, we were scheduled, obviously, to do one uh, this Wednesday uh, to carry it on. I think it's been running for... A good two and a half years now, because if you remember, it started off as two and a half men, and then we rebranded and renamed it uh, to On Passive 360. Um, obviously, this was uh, under the instruction of uh, Ash Mufara, who wanted it to be more corporate uh, available. Uh, so that's why we changed it to On Passive 360 in those early days. And obviously, uh, Marty had a chat uh, with. Ash Mifara last night or vice versa and he's requested that uh, we uh, metaphorically knock 360 on the head uh, stop doing it why because our ecosystem uh, our OES is coming our way very very shortly could just be tomorrow could be Wednesday just a matter of days and he wants to be able to communicate properly with the on passive founders affiliates and customers through the right channels and those right channels are in that ticker if you remember that is uh, in your ecosystem this means that it is coming from corporate there's no confusion uh, there's no um, worry about if it's real or not real all that information in your ecosystem comes from corporate on passive. And it also means that our CEO, Ash Mufara, can schedule uh, ahead of time any corporate webinars he wants to have and put the link for OConnect uh, in the OES so that we can all attend. This really is part and parcel of the next stage of on passive. It's part of what he was talking about last time on. Uh, on Passive 360 that he wants to start moving forward in a very professional business-like manner and this is exactly why we are doing it. Does this mean that myself, Marty and Chris are not going to work together? No, it doesn't. It means that the name of On Passive 360 won't be used uh, anymore uh, but we will individually and collectively still do things together. Uh, I'm certainly going to be doing my recaps uh, and certainly Marty will be as well, where we break down, decipher, try and put into layman's terms what we've heard on these corporate meetings. And of course, our daily lives will continue on our YouTube channels as well. But it makes sense. Uh, this is a good thing, a good way forward for the business. Uh, it gives a proper corporate business feel to how information is divulged uh, because it is all within the umbrella corporate uh, side of the OES. So that was uh, really good news in my opinion. Um, not that I don't like doing uh, on Passive 360 by any means. I, I, I absolutely love doing it and working alongside Marty and Chris, obviously. Um, but for me, this means things are happening. We are moving forward. And just as a side note, Marty did say to me that when he was talking to Ashmi Farah last night about this, he said he was super excited, guys. Uh, so things really are cooking in the kitchen. And I wouldn't be surprised that we don't see something very, very shortly. Back to you for now, Andy. Thanks, Red. Um, I think this is wonderful because, uh, as you say, this is the, the the next move, the next you know way forward almost. And and um, 
I've I've loved this journey. We've all been on this journey, some for longer than others. You obviously six years, me five years, Marty five years, six years. Uh, you know the, the 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 shortest period is over two years, which is great. But there are there are various aspects to this that I want to highlight because I think it's important that people need to understand why this is different. We have a business. I mean. As you well know, I've been a financial advisor for many years, um, and I'm I'm numbers. I'm not technically minded. I don't understand um, software. <laughs> it takes me ages to learn, but I have learned and come a long way, um, uh, certainly over the last four or five years, and understanding and learning a little bit every day, a little bit baby steps every day. But I love this business particularly because it will do the things – for me that I don't yet understand or know how to do. And as we know from Marty, for instance, marketing is one hell of a minefield that quite frankly can cost you an absolute arm and a leg if you don't know what you're doing. And, and you know, I've, I've experienced that, sorry to say. Um, it, you know, in the earlier days, we were looking to try and market to find others to, to join us on this journey. But cost me a fortune, didn't get anywhere. The other thing that um, has struck me about this business is you, if you're, if you're worth your weight in gold, you will follow someone who knows what they're doing, who is an inspiration to you, who is a leader to you and understand and knows what he's doing and does it well. You know, in financial services, we had a, a couple of guys that were very, very good at what they did and sitting with them, learning, understanding what it is that they do that's different to what I did means that I get to the next level. So obviously in this business, you need to follow someone who knows exactly what they're doing. And the inspiration that this man uh, that we have as our CEO, Ash Mafara, has shown all of us along this way makes one hell of a difference to to the business for me that is one of the most important aspects but it's brilliant so we need to 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 be able to support him in what he's doing and i think you know the vast majority have done that we have 1.4 million founders okay um uh, several of us bought multiple uh, positions you could say um over the over the uh, initial period um so there's probably 600 maybe 700,000 founders at the end of the day but um what i wanted to 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 really cover is that that we have this this positive frequency and ash has this positive frequency this is why we follow him this is what he does this is why he's good at what he does and we're now reaching that final step and this is the bit i love now i he made a a comment on one of your um, OP360 some while ago now about a negative thought. Having a negative thought, to in order to counteract that, it takes 48 hours to counteract a neg negative thought. So if you're constantly in a positive frame of mind, you're going to move. If you're constantly in a negative frame of mind, you're never going to get out of it because it takes 48 hours to get out of it. And then you've got another one and another one and another one. So guys, whatever you do, this is the perfect time for proper prior planning because it prevents piss poor performance. And at the end of the day, if you stay positive, you, everything will come um, uh, exactly as we, as we want it to. And, and I think this is a big, big step seeing the OES reopen or coming up to, to being reopened. So what are your thoughts for the future? What do you think uh, we're going to see coming moving forward then, Red? Uh, before I go on to moving forward, uh, you've sparked what I was sort of thinking about anyway, which is uh, the live I did today. And the live I did today, obviously, was to bring you guys up to date with what's going on. But also it was, are we, is seeing... Uh, seeing is believing or do we see what we believe now the reason i put this uh, as a topic for today is because of the journey that we've been all on and the, i'm sure that all of us who are founders in on passive have come across the people who say to you i'll believe it when i see it 
rather than do we see what we see because we believe in what is happening. Now, the reason I brought this up is because moving on to uh, what Andy's just asked me here now, moving forward, where do I think and what is going to be happening? I think that we are going to have access to our OES. We will be able to log into our accounts. All of our data and information will be as it was before. So that means our profiles intact and our wallets are intact and our organization that we've got is all intact. And really that's where I think that we the starting point of the new OES is going to be. I also think that it's not going to be exactly the same as what it was. I think that uh, the company uh, are using this time to uh, upgrade, I think is the nicest and the best terminology, to the platform whilst they can. Uh, it will feel the same, kind of look the same, but I think there might be uh, differences in there. So we will have to learn again a little bit of navigation around it. And that's obviously where we all step in. But I also believe that part of the next phase, uh, not the OES opening, but far, part of the next phase is certainly going to be the money end of what we joined on Passive 4. This brings me back to why I did the topic today. All those people who said, I believe it when I see it, when we are in the position, and we will be, where we are promoting our products in our own business, under our own names, in on passive, through our own websites, uh, selling the products and services of on passive, making a commission, and that commission going both ways. So into the company, into our wallets, and then subsequently uh, withdrawing that, however, and into wherever we decided to go. Once that starts and everybody has proof that it is happening, which we will do because everyone's going to start talking about it, then that gives you the ideal opportunity to go back to all those people who said, I'll believe it when I see it, to say, here's your proof. Why am I saying this? I'm saying it is because they're all potential customers, guys. And at the end of the day, we are a customer-based business. Your success within on passive relies on having customers. Okay, it's think of it a bit like being a car salesman. Okay, you work in a car showroom, you make a sale of a car, you sell it, the buyer's happy, you're happy, you get a commission. Very easy business economics. You sell one car, you get one lot of commission. You sell two cars, two lots, three, etc. Also, what happens when you move up a few grades within the car salesman uh, business and you become an area manager? OK, so not only are you still selling cars and making commissions because you still do that, you're also then getting bonuses on your team's volume. So that is all of the salespeople within your pitch and patch that you work and you run, you get a, uh, a bonus on the sales volume. Guess what? On Passive is going to do exactly the same for you. And this is why having that sales volume through your team and organization is really, really important. And that is all about bringing customers in, allowing them to use the products and services, and then they purchase it. This increases your sales volume. And then obviously, not only are you getting commissions on your purchases and sales, but you're, not your purchases, but your sales. Uh, and then obviously, you will be in line for bonuses. So use the nose, the nose to your advantage when we get going. Everybody, and I mean everybody at the moment, is struggling. I don't care where you live, where you're from. Prices are gone through the roof. Standing still costs a fortune. Food costs a fortune. Going out costs a fortune. Holidays, gas for your pet, gas for your cars, uh, electricity, 
insurances. It all costs a fortune now. So everybody, and I mean everybody, is looking to a way to earn some extra income. And if you can present something, i.e. on passive, to them that they can do at night, a couple of hours, when they get home from work, that's going to bring them in a couple of hundred, 500, maybe a thousand dollars a month or even more. Whatever their limit is, what, how much they want to work the business, they are going to be interested because they can do it from the comfort of their own home. This is also another reason why I love on passive, because there is going to be people who come in as customers who are going to end up earning more than myself and Andy and many others as well. That's what I love about this business, the level playing field, the environment that they come into, that it's not that lot at the top that are making all the money. Anybody and everybody has the ability to utilize all of the products, all of the services of on passive to their advantage and run with it. And it really is up to you where and how big you want to build it. Back to you, Andy. Thanks, Fred. This is a this is a really good point. And this is why I keep harping on about proper prior planning prevents poor performance. Because let's face it, we have time now to be able to even just sit down and write a list. Now, a lot of people don't work on lists. I get that. I like lists. Why do I like lists? Because it focuses you on who you want to speak to. Now, I've got lists of people that have kids at school. I've got lists of people that have kids in university. I've got lists of, of people that are expecting kids. And I've got pe lists of people that are retired. I've got lists of people that use Zoom, um, uh, you know, the video conferencing tool. I've got lists of and so on. This is prior planning because at the end of the day, once we start to see, and we've already seen O-Connect is better than that, than what's available on the market today. So when this does hit, these are the first people I'm going to simply say, yeah, why not take a look at this? This might save you some money. They have a look at it, they can use it and probably likely to use it for 14 days as we did. But I might make a, uh, a or take on a customer. Now that customer, and this is important, this customer becomes a customer for life. Why? Because the product's good, the product is value for money. And if it does what it says on the tin, why would you go elsewhere to a more expensive one that doesn't do the same thing? Now, the beauty of that is that that one client, that one customer, may then look at the other options that come out from on passive over time. Oh, I like that. I'll take that too. Oh, I like that. I'll take that too. So that one customer might generate for me multiple streams of income not just the income from a regular basis from OConnect, but from O-Domain, from uh, O-Staff or O-Academy, or there's lots of other things coming into the fray or will do over, over time. And these initial customers that you take on are likely to look at absolutely everything that OnPassive has if they're getting value for money. So this is why, for me, a list is a simple start, a simple starting base where you can talk to people. I'm not asking you to sell to anybody because at the end of the day, you know, not very many people are good at it. Why not try this? It might save you some money, and I believe it's better than what you use at the moment. There you go. End of story. Now, if you've written these lists, you've got a good starting point of people to contact, people to talk to. And what harm is it going to do? What are they going to do? Turn around and say no. Oh, what a shame. They will come back to you, though, once they, they, they see the other products coming out and so on. So proper prior planning. Any last points you'd like to raise, Red? I'm just going to actually pick up on what you're saying there about your list. The, another really good strong point about having a list, and Andy's mentioned uh, the housewife got kids, expecting kids, retired, 
uh, business people, what, which, whatever your list is and however you put into your categories. It also means that you can adjust your way that you approach them in a manner that is going to fit their needs. And what do I mean by that? It is that there is demographics about certain groups of people. Uh, for instance, if a housewife uh, who has kids at school, they're looking to earn a little bit of money at home at night when the kids are in bed so that you can obviously use that to your advantage because it's going to spark an interest in them because they're going to go, yeah, I can do that, can't I, when the kids are in bed for an hour? And if you can say, look, just doing an hour at night uh, on this business, the possibility of you earning a couple of hundred uh, dollars a month should be pretty easy. If you're a businessman, then you can pitch it in a different way. If you're retired, again, you can pitch it a different way. But I, I think it really is important to rise a list because as, uh, as Marty, no, as Andy said, you know, it really does help focus the people that you know. Also, I'm going to put into the mix as well is that, number one, on Passive is always going to be a customer-based business. When I was doing my presentations for founderships in the early days, part of my talk that I did about becoming a founder was that this is going to be a customer-based business in the future. This is what we've always been working towards uh, the goal of on passive is to be a customer based business. We are as founders or affiliates going to be such a small minority. That brings me nicely on to all of these people that are coming in as customers are coming in because they want to use the product that you've introduced them to because it's better, lower price points and it's going to save them money. Now bang into the mix by saying, if you click that affiliate button there, all the information is there for you to be able to en enable you to earn some money just by using these products. Now, they're going to be interested in that. And this is really where it all lies to and all goes. Is there going to be a high proportion that are just going to use the products because they can't be asked to make any money? Yeah, of course there is. We do it on a regular basis with many of the products that we use already online. We just pay for it, use it. We're not bothered or interested about becoming a reseller for that business. But there is also a huge amount of people who are looking to find extra income at the moment. And also on top of that, the company on Passive is going to help you guys. For instance, if there is somebody in your organization that's just got O-Connect, and by the time uh, this all happens, we might have four or five other paid products, okay, in the OES, but they've only got O-Connect. They're going to then approach this person through a mail shot or whatever it may be and go and say, as a trusted customer or whatever their terminology is, if you bundle these three together, you'll be able to get it at a third of the price that you would pay normally for each of these ones as a bundle. They're going to do all sorts of offers like this. And guess what? What have, what have you done work-wise for them to buy those other products? Zero. It's the company that are offering that to the organization. This is why this business is so unique. It's all about you doing your part, the company doing their part, but the beneficiary is always going to be you. The company are doing what they're doing, they're making their money, but they also know the more sales that happen, the better off it is for you. Back to you, Andy. Thanks, Fred. Yeah. <clears throat> and I want to finish on that point because everybody has a target that they want to achieve. Um, and I always used to work it things backwards. So to give you an example, let's say for argument's sake that it takes one customer to come on board for every five people that you speak to. Okay. If you want a hundred customers, you've got to speak to 500 people. So your list should have at least 500 people on that list. Okay. And if each of those, those a hundred customer, hundred people that become customers are going to provide you with an income based upon O connect. And let's say each of those, provides you with ten dollars 
that's a thousand dollars a month. So again, you can work it back. You can decide what income that you want to achieve, and then you can work out the number of people that you need to speak to. Simple. It's just simple. So again, guys, make sure that you use this time to, pr to plan ahead. We've got time. The OES is not open yet, but it will be very, very soon. And when it does, things will start to happen and unfold probably quicker. So use this time as best you possibly can. Guys, thanks ever so much for joining us again today. We shall see you undoubtedly. Red is not on holiday again next week, so he will be available. So we shall, <laughs> we shall see you again next Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us. Red, say goodbye. Goodbye, and thanks a lot for inviting me once again, Andy. No worries. Cheers.